Okay, everybody, we're here interviewing the band. That being said, at the third annual Ride for Diabetes, which whether nature decided to give us actually turned out to be a beautiful, perfect fall day. So, and also the last interview, there's been a change in uh, membership since last time. Uh, be beautiful new lead singer with a fantastic voice and definitely this new sound, almost like a new sound for the band. So like, when did the changes happen? Uh, changes happened, let's see, we're in September, we're in October, uh, a year ago, July. Okay. So how did you find, well, uh, what, yeah, how, how, did, how did the latest incarnation come together? The short answer is Craigslist. <laughs> Uh, the long, the long answer is um, Kate actually auditioned for us um, a, a, two and a half years ago. Okay. And um, at that point, Sharon joined us, and but we never forgot her. And um, I was always a fan. The first heard her sing. So um, when Sharon decided to leave us, Kate was one, was our first choice. Yeah, she was the first number we called. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yep. Number one. And, and number one, for sure. And uh, we pretty much didn't let her get away. We pretty much we just said, uh, you know. No, I'm not going to do that line from The Godfather. I re okay. <laughs> I'm this is Ro, too. Make sure you get Ro in the picture. Ro, right? Oh, yeah. Keyboard player, also a, a tremendous vocal talent. Yes, I will admit. Um, in fact, when was it? The first time I really, outside of Steelers, I really caught the band was over at Lehigh Parkway this year. I forget, that was the color run? Yeah, back in April. Everything blends together, I apologize. <laughs> so, but like I said, it almost seems like there's a new and different sound to the band also. It seems like you're trying like uh, new songs, you know, different, you know, experimenting, like kind of pushing the limits. Definitely. Um, also with the addition of bass player Mike Dorio, uh, which I don't know where he is, but I thought he was gonna be over here, but he disappeared on us, but uh, yeah. So he definitely adds as well. Okay. So, yeah, any more, uh, like, always trying new things, or is kind of like... Always trying new things. Try. Last year, last year, I think we debuted 36 new songs during the year. So wow. Constantly learning new material. Yeah. That's got to be a lot of rehearsing. Yeah. Um, a lot of rehearsal apart from each other. Okay. Sure. Uh, we really only rehearse together once a week. Um, thank God, you know, for the, the advent of the internet has uh, made things a lot easier on bands these days. Um, so we all basically have the same template to mm -hmm. go by. And then when we get together Tuesday, we pretty much have everything lined up, ready to go. And then it's just a matter of you run through it a couple of times and polish it up. It's ready to go in the set list. Yeah, and I'm sure things like Facebook chats make it a lot easier to, okay, let's try, you know, let's try this song. So things like the chats and everything probably make it a lot easier to yeah, communicate. Yeah, active email threads. Yeah. And Dropbox, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I actually was introduced to that late last year, and Dropbox is fantastic. So... Working on the same version of the song, all the lyrics are up there, set lists, everything. Okay. Now, you, there's also, you guys have done something different, which unfortunately I, I, I missed. I haven't had a chance to catch. You've also done acoustic, though. Yeah. Katie Hotsey. I think one of, the first show we did, I think it was kind of. Uh, yeah, it was it was kind of improv. We didn't know we were gonna have to do acoustic. We kind of just kind of went with that day. So we took our normal set list and made a little, a very few adjustments actually. It's surprising how many songs actually worked acoustically yeah. that you wouldn't think. Okay. That, in all honesty. Yeah, you'll never hear that again. From what from what I've seen, though, I've seen like bands like My Maze, you know, um, and others that have done great job, both acoustic and electric. And a lot of that is actually the band, not the song itself. Because, am I right? Where you can make a lot of elect songs that are good, full band and full electric, if you know what you're doing, sound good. Am I right or am I wrong about that? You're right. You're right. I think piece by piece, we're all. Um, I would love to see that. I would love to see just like you know an improv on that one. It was, it, I, it was great. I mean, 
mean, we really didn't have any complaints about it. We're finding that the, the acoustic gigs are actually a lot of fun. Yeah. We have a blast yeah. doing those. It gives us the chance. We're, we're doing the full electric. You know, we have the full in-air monitors. There's wedges on the floor. So stage volume is often quite loud. So the communication is more by eye contact. <laughs> Where on acoustic, you almost have to be afraid of what you may say to somebody. <laughs> Everybody can hear it. It's hot, and you can. We hold we hold conversations and you know tell jokes through the monitor during the acoustic show. Yeah, well, that's in all honesty that that makes it more fun and intri more fun for the crowd though. It's more it makes it more personal. You know, it's one thing you guys know that when I do a band review, it's like how does a band interact? And like if you're taking a heartbreak between songs. You know, people love when you joke around with each, you know, even joke around with each other. So it makes it more personal and gets the crowd more involved. And we are always at it with one another. Yeah, if, take a notice. A big joke. So it's very, it, it comes very easy to us to uh, joke around on stage and just kind of be ourselves. It's really fun. Yeah. Well, it's fun to be. Yeah, it's almost like with this, with the band right here, it's almost like, from what you're telling me, from what I've seen, it's almost like you're, you're an extended family of each other also. No doubt. Okay, we got somebody who's been dead silent over here. It's rare, because I'm usually a great talker. Maybe, I don't know. You're just very blue today. Yeah. I am blue today. Color run. Yeah, Which one? I'm on a Cedar Beach in Allentown. Somebody told me about that. I didn't even know about that. Yeah, I have a teacher in Allentown, so I had students who were volunteering. So we were throwing the paint on the people, and the paint doesn't come off that easily. So I have blue hands, blue hair, blue highlighter, it looks like. Hey, you're, here's a great idea for a Halloween costume, a Smurf. Smurf uh, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. I apologize, I cannot uh, resist. All right. yeah, so actually, I actually have a question. What's it like to play with the band, though? It's like to play with the band. It was, I never played with the band before. Uh, I stepped in for some uh, our friend Jen. Uh, she got pregnant and has a lovely, beautiful little girl now who she's taken care of. She asked if I'd step in for her, uh, at least temporarily. And, uh, a year ago. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And we never let him leave. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I never done a band before. I, was, I always kind of wanted to. I got jealous. And, you know, it's, when you're a musician or you have some music background, you see people up on stage and you, you like, I, and I like to perform. I like to be on stage. And it's like I go to see bands. But man, I really like to do that. I did a little bit in high school, but nothing major. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'll do it. What the hell, why not? Um, and, uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun because everyone's, everyone in the band are really great music. That's why things come together so easily for us because everyone has a high level of talent uh, that really it only takes a week for us. You know, here's a song, listen to it, put it together, and in a week or two it's ready to go because um, we're working with good musicians, which is the nice part about it. There's not a lot of actual like rehearsing where it's like okay let's play this over and over again. It's more like let's kind of jam. Like the uh, rehearsals are more just like okay let's go through it. What do we like? What do we like? Let's change it up. Let's do it again. And you know, all right, cut and print. We're good. So, uh, okay. I enjoyed it a lot. It's been a new experience for me. So uh, I look forward to uh, you know many more. Oh, you there will be. I mean, this area is a great music scene, and there's enough bars and clubs for. You know, for the bands and everything, you know, it's... Definitely, we've found that out. <laughs> plenty of, plenty of uh, performances. Plus, uh, the amount of events, is, even though the, it's getting colder out, the amount of events in this area, it, for band, you know, that are open to bands and the amount of people looking for them. So, quick question, just uh, curiosity. You guys ever, like, have you guys played weddings in, like, private events? Private um, events. I played a birthday recently. Private events. Yeah. Weddings? Um, I've missed a class about weddings. Yeah, well... Uh, never say never. Okay. Um, just like, you know, I, I've said I'll never play Freebird again, but if somebody throws me a 20, I might so <laughs> decline. So, yes, if the price is right, I'm sure we would probably uh, do a wedding, but there would definitely be um, uh, conditions. Because um, uh, I have a, a history of mobile DJ work, and I've done my fair share of weddings, and I know the... Um, the ups and the downs of all the wedding events, so um, that's one of the reasons why, you know, if the price is right, we'll do it. But, yeah. Um, we haven't as of yet. We certainly can. But for anybody who has a private event, even like a corporate function, yeah, you know, you... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Uh, two quick questions to let you guys get going, because I know you're up next, and, 
this play, they have a great lineup for this, honestly. It was like the first thing as soon as I saw a music lineup, I'm like, we got to be a media sponsor of this one. Yeah. You know, just with the music lineup alone. Um, actually, one last question. For advice, and this is what I always say in every interview, no matter who it is. Advice, and I would like individual answers. Advice to other musicians, you know, people, whether a teenager, I mean, like with myself, I have the lyrics to three songs that I eventually would like to learn the guitar and do, you know. Um, so this is even advice for me. Um, you know, people want to get into music, might have some talent, or, you know, even, you know, they want to do covers, maybe throw in a couple originals. Advice advice to people out there, honestly. What's the start? Ralph, I'll start. Okay. Uh, well, I tell my even students at the high school level, because a lot of them have their inspiring dreams to become rock stars or popular music, you know, singers. And, uh, I just tell them to go out there and do it, uh, go out there and try, if there's a performance opportunity, you know, I always tell them it's better to say that you tried than to wonder what if afterwards, so if you have an opportunity to take it, uh, if it's to take lessons and learn an instrument or if it's to sing a national anthem at something, um, they offer it to you, just do it, um, you know, you learn from mistakes, so if it doesn't go well, you learn from it, if it goes well, you build confidence and it goes on from there. Um, but really, experience is the best teacher, you know, just being out there and doing it will um, make you better and you'll learn from mistakes and you'll learn from uh, successes as well. So. And if it doesn't work out, it could lead to, it could always open, like you might find out another something else about yourself that could lead to opportunities in other areas. Especially in music, there's plenty of different opportunities when it comes to music besides singing or playing in a band. It comes, you know, there's the producing aspect, all that stuff. Maybe the performing aspect isn't yours, but maybe the more technical aspect or the managing, things of that sort, maybe that's more up their alley. And I always try to keep them in tune with other musical opportunities that keeps you in the music world, in the music scene besides singing or playing instruments. So. Okay. Next victim. <laughs> oh, okay. Go ahead. Um, it adds more realism to sure. it. <laughs> I mean, the most obvious would be hard work and be dedicated. I've seen, including myself at, at one point, a lot of people expect things to just come to them. If you don't go out and take it, it's never going to happen for you. You need to make sure that you're out there doing everything that you can to chase your dream. It's not somebody else's, so why would you expect someone else to take initiative for you? So that's pretty much... And the promoting is one of the hardest parts and takes the, mo the most amount of time, am I right? Yep. Next. <laughs> Just get yourself out there. Uh, open mics are good. What's the start? Free and cost them, just go out and play, perform, get in front of people, put your stuff out there, just, just do it. Okay. And keep at it. Keep at it. Yep. If you if you make that decision, you you must follow through. Um, the only thing I'd like to add is you have to find people, no matter how long it takes, that you can get along with, you get a good time with. This band come on, has, yeah, come on over. Come here. <laughs> this. Uh, yeah. This band personality has, has matches is a, is yeah, a, it's key. Bigger Personalities are key. Um, this band has zero drama. Okay. And now watch tomorrow we'll have a big blowout. <laughs> uh, we have we hit, there's it's zero drama. So you know everybody has an equal say. Everybody says what they need to say. Um, and again, like Kate said, dedication. That's you know you have to you have to want it, and so you have to put in what is required to get it. Okay. In other words, don't do don't do it halfway. No. If you if this is your dream, if this is what you want, you have to t you have to take chances in the risks. Even if you even if you lived life and you decided to do it later. <laughs> hey, I'm 43 and considering, you know. <laughs> hey, I'm 43 and I started a magazine a year and a half ago without anybody telling me so. Yeah, it's you know a person's dreams, at least to myself. Correct me if I'm wrong. They're not limited to age. Right. You know, it could be you could be a teenager, you could be in your 50s or 60s. And if you want it bad enough, you still have a, ch a shot at it. So, okay. One last, since we got... <laughs> <laughs> um, the, question, the question is, the final question is, advice to other, pe to other people when you get into music or even to other musicians. Um, I was looking for kind of individual responses as far as, you know, so advice, like what advice as part of a band, a local, you know, a great local band, to you know, whether you're a teenager, whether you're in your 50s, if you want to get into music and do it. Well, I think 
you have to want to do it to start with. You can't fake it or nothing's going to work. If you really want to do this, you'll practice on your own. You'll learn all the things you need to learn. And, you know, if you want to do it, you'll do it. Okay. Yeah, that's well, what it boils down to. So, well, thank you very much for your time. And thank you. I know you're going to have a kick-ass show. Like I said, through as soon as I saw a band lineup, I'm like, yeah, I want to really promote this thing. So, yeah, thank you very much for your time. and looking forward to seeing you guys perform more this year. I know you guys have, you guys probably both have a slam schedule in the 2015 already. Uh, 2015, yeah, we're actively booking. have a couple dates lined up for 2015. Um, as, soon as, as soon as the holidays are over, it'll really, everything will ramp up. Yeah. Oh, one final point. Uh, promote the promote the band's website and everything. You have to. Oh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> you can catch us at www.tbsrocks.com and on Facebook, Facebook forward slash that makes sense. Okay, thank you very much for your time. I hope everybody had a great time. Thank you. Yep. We did. Yeah. Cool.